What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to continue on with our series of uh, side mount penetration or advanced side mount penetration. And I'm going to show you another clip from our uh, compilation video, which if you've not watched yet, click this little link up here. I really think you'll enjoy the compilation video. But we're going to look at another clip from there, and I'm going to explain how we did the penetration itself. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. Not only am I going to show you uh, the video itself, I'm actually going to show you the unedited version because most of the videos that you watched or most of the clips you watched were edited. We did color correction, we did a whole things, a lot of things to them, but this is going to be the total unedited version. It's about two and a half to three minutes long, so it's a little lengthy there, but I'm going to walk you through the actual penetration itself and kind of explain how we're actually making it. Now, before I hit play, I want to kind of explain where we're at here. We are actually up at Lake Phoenix still. This is up in Rollins, Virginia. It's a beautiful place to go diving, whether you're a new diver or an experienced diver. And there's so much to see when underwater, and there's so many things to actually practice your skill sets on. And this maze that we're going through here that you're going to see David go through, that's exactly what it's designed for. It's to teach you how to go through without stirring up the bottom. It's a great place to work on your trim and your buoyancy as well. But I'm going to go ahead and hit play here, and I'll walk you through as David David goes through the maze. Now, one thing that makes this maze so safe, and it's even safe for new divers, is there's no top on it. So yeah, it's a maze you've got to kind of worm through, but the entire maze is completely topless. There's no ceiling to it, so at any time you can just pop up out of it. But what I personally like about this maze is how low to the ground it is. It's really going to teach you how to have proper propulsion with your fins and how to keep your body in perfect trim. Now, the side that David has came in on, this is the north side of the maze here. There's a long corridor, and it's actually the best side to, side to actually start on because it's going to get that trim or make you work on your trim before you start making all these turns. And as you make your turns, it's also going to help you with your proper finning techniques as well. Now, David's just simply doing a frog kick here, but you can do a frog kick, a modified frog, or even a modified flutter works really great here as well. It's also going to give you time to practice your helicopter turns because as you're going in and out of these turns, you're really going to have to use those helicopter turn techniques. Now you can also use what's called a pull and glide system where you just kind of pull yourself along, you glide through the water column, then pull yourself, but there's really not much to grab onto. You don't want to grab onto the PVC pipe in here because you can actually damage the maze. But yeah, he's doing great here. He's keeping his knees uh, parallel with his body or his feet parallel with his body. His knees are staying bent up. He's not stirring up anything, so if there was a diver going in behind him, they're still going to have great clear visibility here. And he's also having to negotiate his way through here. You don't want to be too high. You're going to hit the top of the PVC top there. And you don't want to be too low because you're stirring it up. This maze is going to be absolutely perfect for you to actually work on your trim and your buoyancy and even your finning techniques as well. Now he's about halfway through it here. Uh, and he's doing fine. His tanks ain't getting caught in the lattice or anything like that. 
Uh, David's a very, very experienced side mount diver, and he's not having any trouble here whatsoever. But like I said, this is an awesome maze for you to go through uh, just for the simple fact that it allows you to practice multiple skills at one time, and it's flat out fun to do as well. So he's working through. He's about two-thirds of the way through it now. I think he's got about four or five more turns to make here. Let's see, there's one. He's got two, three. It looks like he's got four more turns, and he'll be out of this maze here. But yeah, it's an absolutely fun maze. And the cool thing is, is not only do you go through one direction, you can turn around and come back through it the other direction as well. And once again, practice all your skills. And as you can see, he made it out. It's a fun, safe place for you to practice your skills. Now, typically when I go through it, I'm a little bit wider than David is when I'm inside mount going through there. And I'll go ahead and either wing both tanks or at least wing one of my tanks up. David was able to do it with two steel 85s on his side, and he didn't have any trouble whatsoever. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the edited version real quick of this. The edited version, of course, is where we add music and stuff to it. And it's still an all-around fun dive to make through. Uh, it just takes time to get through it. And it, like I said, it's a great place for you to actually practice your skill set. Let me bring up the edited version here for you. Here's the edited version. We'll go ahead and start play on it. And of course, I've, I've shortened down the edited version a little bit for you, but you can see we did a little bit of color correction on it as well. There he's working on his helicopter turns. He is using his finger to kind of pull and glide him through it there. He's staying up off the bottom. He's using proper finning techniques. One of the things that I actually change a little bit where he's doing more of a modified frog, I actually do a modified flutter for the long straight uh, stretches there. There he's doing his helicopter turn again. He's not getting caught in the lattice. Once again, he's not too tall. Even though there's not a top here, it's safe for anybody to go through. Uh, he's still not coming up too tall. He's holding trim and he's holding his buoyancy at a certain depth the entire way or all the way through it. There you can kind of see he's pulling and gliding along as well. And of course he makes it back to the end, to the exit point there. And yeah, it's just a safe, fun thing to do if you're up there at Lake Phoenix. There's a lot of benefits to this maze. You can do it as an open water diver. You can do it as a side mount diver. You can do it as a cave diver. You can do it as a dive instructor. doesn't really matter who you are, what your experience level is. This is a safe, fun environment for you to get out and swim in and to practice your skills as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. We still got plenty to go in this series of our advanced side mount and penetration techniques, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you got any questions on, say, Lake Phoenix or this particular dive site here, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Please share this video as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.